You go over to your browser. You go over to your effects tab. You go to your video generators. Now, something we needed to do in the previous project, remember how we needed that black slug in our uh, premiere and we did that? In Final Cut, you get your black slug by going to video generators and dragging the slug into the viewer and that's how, and then you drag the black into your timeline. So that's where your black comes from in this. So, I don't see anything for white in there for that white flash frame, do y'all? It says slug and it just keeps coming in black. So if you need slug for that white flash frame that y'all that I was showing you, you go ahead and use the black slug. Go to your video filters, image control, brightness, contrast. Throw that in there. Go to filters where it says brightness, contrast. Blow it out. Let's see what we got. Nope, it didn't do it. Let's see. We go the other way then. That's contrast. I should have blown out the brightness. There's white. So basically you create a black, you just use the black slug because that's really what it's going to give you. You throw a brightness contrast in and you know, blow out the brightness. You just take your, your uh, brightness all the way up and now that you have the white, you can just drag that down into here. You can go m many different ways. You can get over here with your razor blade, cut you a little bit out. Get rid of that, get rid of that. You can make it even shorter if you need to. And white flash frame, but it just ended there. So, y'all get what I just did? Y'all want to see it one more time? Yeah. Okay. To get the white flash frame, what you need to do is you need slug first. You need some slug. So, you go to the browser effects tab and you go to video generators. You find the slug and you just drag that into the viewer. It's going to come in black. Then you close the video generators and go to the video filters. Go to image control, brightness contrast. Drag that in. Notice that's the difference in filters from Premiere and Final Cut. Premiere you drag them to the clip down in the timeline. And Final Cut it's better to drag them onto the viewer. And then you can go to your filters tab up here, brightness, push that all the way to the maximum. You have a white slug now. You drag that down into your timeline and trim as needed with the razor blade. Cool on how to get that white flash frame? All right. We There's got another way you can get it too. Talk to me. <laughs> go, into, uh, go, to, go down to the video folder. Okay, which one? Uh, let me see. Should be video folder, filters, generators. Hold on one second. Filters. Go to filters. Okay. And then go to the video, video folder. Go yeah, the video folder, and then get blink. Let me put a piece of video up there. And throw the blink onto a frame. Uh, you could. It just. It just. You have to play with it and finesse it a little bit, but it's already there. Yeah. Then you can come in here and then go into the filters, and work with the durations, off on durations. Right. Cool. Another way to skin the cat. Yeah. Right on. Never used that one.